don't mind telling you, Abdul the Booker has not changed a bit in the last 20 years. I got blood all over my notes. I'm going to do my best to call the remaining matches, but Abdul the Butcher's blood is all over my notes. I got a picture here. There's blood all over it, too. There's blood all over the table. This is just anarchy in Charlotte, North Carolina. And now the junior heavyweight free for all has begun in the ring. The first two men from NWA Pacific Northwest, Tony Kazina, wearing the white tights, and he's going up against Chris Michaels from NWA New York wearing the black truck. This ought to be a jam-up matchup right here, as you see. They're going to work on each other, and all the marbles is on the line here. Kazina, the current NWA Pacific Northwest light heavyweight champion, having defeated Torch for that title in a ladder match. Chris Michaels is the uh, current NWA New York light heavyweight champ, having won that title in a six-man free-for-all back in April. Now the third man coming to the ring, the NWA Georgia light heavyweight champ, Air Paris. With a low blow by Air Paris. Air Paris is sure enough lightweight, but this kid can go with the best of them. Air Paris has only been wrestling for a short time, one of the most talked about wrestlers in the NWA Georgia and in the entire NWA. And the winner of this 11-man free-for-all gets a shot at the NWA World Light Heavyweight Champion, Logan Kane. Here we go. Flips over the backside off the far rope. And he's caught the two. Incredible double Huracan run out by Air Paris taking both men over. Looks like Chris Michaels and Tony Kazina tried to team up to take Air Paris out and it backfired. Now Air Paris up and down with a moonsault. Looks like he, his leg grazed the back of Michael's head there. A little mistiming by Air Paris, but I'll tell you one thing, it done the damage on himself. And that's the problem with these high risk maneuvers because if you miss, you've lost. Yeah, I mean, that's why they call them high risk, because there is a lot of risk involved. And the alliance between Kazina and Michaels short-lived as they're going to work on one another. And this is the second three-way of the night. In the first three-way, we have the NWA World Heavyweight Title Exchange hand, as we have a new NWA Heavyweight Champion here at the 51st anniversary. Gary Steele from the United Kingdom. History in the making. Historic night here at the Grady Cole Center in Charlotte, North Carolina as the NWA celebrates its 51st anniversary. We now await the fourth competitor into this 11-man light heavyweight three-for-all. Man, what a backdrop. That it, guy was 10 feet in the air if he was a foot. Here comes the Iceman Buck Quartermain from NWA Florida, the NWA Florida junior heavyweight champ. He goes right to work on Kazina and Chris Michaels now attacking him as well. Air Paris taking a little breather on the side. This guy is a nice looking athlete. Looks like he's been in the uh, gym training for years and got the chrome dome in the NWA. Going for that lightweight title. Going for that lightweight title. And Iceman Quartermain uh, wrestled uh, out of Florida for several years. Very successful with NWA Florida. Also with several, uh, several other organizations. But looks like he's uh, about to go over. It's Chris Michaels trying to throw him out. Referees uh, Tony Wolf and Fred Richards on the floor calling the action. And one side, we've got Tony Kazina going at it with Air Paris on the other side. Chris Michaels trying to throw out the Iceman, Buck Quarterman. Well, they're calling this a free-for-all, but really it's an over-the-top rope battle royal for the uh, junior heavyweight title. Yeah, and that, it's something that takes uh, these wrestlers out of their element because a, a lot of the uh, great appeal of the light heavyweight style of wrestling is them doing their flips over the top rope. Hey, if someone does a dive over the top rope, they're out of here. So they have to adjust their uh, game plan and their style for this match in order to get the victory. Man, I got to tell you what a night this has been. It's been absolutely unbelievable as we've seen Abdullah the Butcher being, hey, let me tell you something, Ron Garvin come to ringside to save these other guys' life, basically. Here we go with the next challenger, Gary Royal. From he does look like Ron Garvin. Gary Royal from NWA Mid-Atlantic, former NWA Junior Heavyweight Champ in his own right. Earlier today, I saw another former champ, Nelson Royal. Got to talk to him for a little while. Nelson Royal, been around this great sport for 30 plus years. And as a matter of fact, I got to meet him myself. And you know, I called one of his matches about five years ago here in North Carolina. So uh, that was an honor and a privilege. But I can't tell you what I was him. Uh, I was the night he wrestled Buddy Landell and Buddy attacked Nelson's daughter. I was there. Man, I I'm remember. Say, Al Getz has a memory like an elephant. It is unbelievable. This guy does not forget anything. And Steve Martin has a hairline like an elephant, too. Not much there. That's another story. 
Here we go. Nelson takes up Tony Katina, backbreaker, and uh, takes him down. Meanwhile, in the corner, Chris Michaels and uh, Buck Quartermain still going at it. Air Paris back in the fray as it looks like a double team on the Portland, Oregon native, Tony Kazina. Portland, Oregon. Where have I heard that before? A good, a good friend of mine named Smart Bart Sawyer from Portland, Oregon. And he is also a member of the NWA. Yeah, isn't he currently serving out of suspension from NWA Georgia? He sure is. This guy right here, you're talking about almost in an insane asylum. Smart Bart Sawyer, he's a friend of mine, but man, he goes he goes wacky when he gets next to ringside. On suspension from Wildside, and here we go with the next competitor in this free-for-all for the lightweight title. Mercury representing NWA Pennsylvania. He uh, has been a rest professional wrestler for the last two years, has won several titles out of NWA Pennsylvania and the Pennsylvania Wrestling Alliance. We'll see if he has what it takes as he's going at it with Chris Michaels. And now back to work in the corner on Cuisina. In another corner, we've got Gary Royal and Buck Quartermain. There's a flip Mercury with a uh, mule kick into Cuisina. And in the far corner, we've got Air Paris going at it with Chris Michaels. Here he goes, trying to put him over the top rope. And he's holding on for dear life because we got a lot of money on the line here because any title in the NWA means one tremendous pay raise. Oh, yeah, and I, I'm still waiting for my pay raise. They told me it was coming, but I haven't seen it yet. Someone get Barons on the horn. There you see Gary Royal taking it to Buck Quarterman. Barons probably going to fire me after he hears this thing. I've been ragging on him. Well, I'll say this. Since I've joined the NWA, I've had more responsibility running television than any company I've ever worked for. It's absolutely unbelievable. But, you know, when you're on 100-plus stations, the responsibility's there, but the reward is in the long run. That's right, and if you're enjoying this on home video, don't forget to check your local listings to see if NWA Worldwide or NWA Wildfire is available in your area. Myself and Steve Martin bring you the action each and every week. All the best of the NWA. There's Air Paris with a clothesline on Chris Michaels. Air Paris is one of my picks to go all the way here. You know, he's a lightweight. And I mean, sure enough, a lightweight, but, you know, this is what this is all about. And I love to watch the lightweights work, because these guys can flat go. Yeah, uh, Chris Hero now in the ring. He's, and Air Powers is one of my favorites. Well, Buck Quartermain almost eliminated. And the cat here. And Turns back around. in. Oh! Air Powers is one of my favorites. I'm also looking at Twiggy Ramirez, who isn't out yet, and also Danny Dominion, who isn't out yet. They're my three picks. I, I'm telling you, one of those three is going to make it. They're going to win this thing, and they're going to face Logan Kane. All Las Vegas, you heard it from Al Getz, right here on the and whatever Al wants. Al Getz, baby. Hey, I know that saying. There's a uh, full Nelson by uh, Buck Quartermain on Mercury, and there's a little double teaming going on on Mercury by Quartermain and Gary Royal, while Chris Hero takes it to, to uh, Tony Kazina, and Kazina and Chris Michaels, have, uh, the two men that have been in the ring the longest, but they're showing no signs of where is Michaels taking it to Air Paris. Paris tied up in the rope. Paris down and Michaels up and over. Just as I said he was looking good, Michaels is eliminated. Paris. Just like that. What is Paris doing? He's on the top rope. He doesn't need to do this. He's going to disqualify himself. If he dies off this top rope, he's gone. I don't know what he's thinking, Al. I don't know. Sometimes the, uh, the thrill of the moment gets you. There goes my pick. Well, Air Paris is out. Just like that. Paris jumped off over uh, the top rope. That's called inexperience. He let his mind, he let, he lost his focus on the title and drove over the top rope and with uh, a plancha and disqualified his on sale. And Buck Quarterman was just eliminated too. Here comes another one of my picks, Twiggy Ramirez, representing NWA 2000. He is the current NWA 2000 heavyweight champion. The man he beat for that title, Stevie Richards. Stevie Richards. This man defeated Stevie Richards, one, two, three, and now he and Chris Hero going to work on Casino while Gary Royal and Mercury are going at it. Buck Quartermain eliminated. Chris Michaels eliminated. Air Paris eliminated. That's three men out. We got uh, five in the ring and three more to come. There's another Chris Michaels in NWA Nashville, and what an athlete that guy is. I got the uh, honor and the privilege of calling his uh, matchup on Wildside the other day and against the Colorado Kid, one of your favorites. Oh, yeah, and 
Gary Royal, uh, here's some uh, cheers from the crowd for him. He's the hometown favorite, a longtime native of North Carolina, and uh, representing NWA Mid-Atlantic, the hometown promotion here in Charlotte. Oh, beautiful spinning kick by Twiggy Ramirez in the corner. I tell you, this Twiggy is an exciting wrestler. He's wrestled throughout the Northeast, also wrestled in Kentucky, taking on two other great light heavyweights, um, American kickboxer Tarek the Great. Man, what a Japanese arm drag. Japanese arm drag by Mercury on Gary Royal now gets on top of him and just starts clobbering him. Gary Royal is in trouble here, the hometown favorite, as we got a two-on-one situation here for the lightweight title in the NWA. For the ride, off that far rope he comes, and Hart goes like. Double teamed by the man from Pennsylvania, Mercury, and the man from Indiana, Chris Hero, on the man from North Carolina, Gary Royal. While we've got Portland, Oregon, Kazina going up against uh, NWA New Jersey and NWA 2000's Twiggy Ramirez. Three seconds, and other wrestlers going to come to the ring. I would love to know how many people is on the payroll of the NWA. It's absolutely got to be way over 100. And here, here comes the next competitor in the free-for-all. Vince Kaplack making his way to the ring, representing NWA East Pro Wrestling Express out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Mercury's out. Mercury has been eliminated. Chris Hero now up on the top rope. Gary Royal laying prone in the middle of the ring. Oh! Senton splash by Chris Hero. But he, while he was celebrating, while he was just watching, uh, Vince Kaplack snatched him from behind. Meanwhile, in the corner, Twiggy and Ramirez and Tony Kazina still going at it. That's got to be one of the more dangerous moves in pro wrestling. If you nail it, it works every time. But if you miss it, I tell you what, it, it, you've had a bad day. Because you're going head first, and all of a sudden, it's the last second you're turning. Here yes, we go. Yes, and this is uh, degenerated into a brawl. Now Gary Royal's got a hold of Twiggy Ramirez. Got him by the throat, just choking the daylights out of him. Referee Tony Wolf right on the action, but hey, this is a free-for-all. Anything goes. Gary Royal with a blatant choke here, but anything goes because this right here, the title's on the line, so everybody's trying to make a good show in here because not only is this for the title, but you've got all kinds of talent scouts out here in the audience looking to pick up big talent for their big TV shows all, throughout America. All the NWA promoters across the United States, and hey, they're always on the lookout for a new wrestler including me. You know, I'm sitting here calling these matches, and I'm looking at these guys, looking over a lot of talent for the Wild Side show we do out of Georgia. Johnny Moss from uh, NW... have one more to come and that's Danny Dominion from NWA Midwest. A reversal by Twiggy. Heroes in the corner. Twiggy's got to be one of my favorites at this point. He has shown. Only because I he's my favorite. You're just stealing my picks, Steve. No, the only thing I'm doing here is I'm watching the talent with a spinning stunner. And now it's a two-on-one on Vince Kaplack as Johnny Moss and Tony Kazina try to eliminate the man from the NWA East. And meanwhile, Twiggy now in trouble as Chris Hero. Chris Hero's the tallest man in the ring, and that's a major advantage, especially in the light heavyweight division. Now, eight seconds left till the 11th and final man comes to the ring. Baseball slide by Twiggy and Vince Kaplack in trouble on the apron. And he's holding on for dear life. And he climbs back into the ring. As long as your feet don't touch, you're all right. Yeah, you have to be thrown out over the top rope and have both of your feet touch the floor. Twiggy now waving to Danny Dominion. I don't know if these two maybe done a little talking, but before the match, the very flamboyant Dominion out of NWA Midwest where he teams regularly with uh, Sexy Ace Steel and Adrian Lynch in their ongoing feud against Scrap Iron Adam Pierce. Well, I just changed my mind. There's my, my pick for tonight right there. You just like this polo, don't you? Oh, I love the feathers. But nevertheless, I tell you what, this guy right here has got every advantage because he's coming in last. Yeah, the luck of the draw dictates that Danny Dominion uh, is going to be the freshest man in the ring once he steps in. And meanwhile, Tony Casino, uh, the first man in the ring, still in there. 
being worked over by Chris Hero, plus uh, Johnny Moss, Vince Kaplack, and Twiggy Ramirez. Twiggy takes a drop kick to Moss. Dominion still hasn't gotten the ring yet. Tony, if I was him, I would stay out of the ring until the referee made me get in there. Well, Tony Wolf trying to get him in the ring, but not, not very forcefully. Now Twiggy in trouble. Johnny Moss has a hold of him. Casino, Casino whipped across and taken down with a clothesline by Chris Hero. Let me say this. You know, I'm all for a, a fair fight and this kind of thing, but the fact of the matter is, if you can score the pinfall and not break a sweat, that's even better. Yeah, Dominion still uh, making the rounds. Chris Hero up to the top rope. Frog splash on Kazina. Beautiful frog splash, but boom, Twiggy right there with the kick. Well, it was a nice frog splash indeed, but we're not going for a three count here. We're going for over the top rope. So, you know, I don't know what their maneuvers are all about because, you know, it might wear the man down, but at the same time, it's not getting him over the top rope. Beautiful belly to back suplex by Johnny Moss. And oh, there's a uh, Twiggy driver by Twiggy Ramirez. Taking down Tony Casino. There's a chop. Man, Twiggy showing me a lot of talent here. This guy's been in there since almost the opening bell. Yeah, Twiggy Ramirez, uh, one of the first entrants in this thing. Oh, there's some vicious chops by Johnny Moss on Danny Dominion. Man, Drayton chops in the corner. And this Dominion looks like he has uh, been in the gym also, so he is my favorite. I have picked him right here. I'll get. He was one of my favorites, too. And I chose, oh, I liked him and Twiggy, and then you picked Twiggy, and now you pick him. You're just, you're just harping, and you're just stealing on my gimmick, Steve. I'm still your thunder. That's right, you thunder stealer. Here we go, and a big splash. Big splash attempt, but it looked like Twiggy got his feet up. Couldn't really tell from our vantage point. Dominion now going back and forth from one corner to Johnny Moss, then the other to uh, Vince Kaplack. Tony Kazina uh, wearing the silver tights, uh, resting, but now he and Kaplack going at it. And Dominion has Kazina up, and uh, sorry, Johnny Moss has him up and takes him down. Almost into a, a movie driver, almost. And now Johnny Moss going up to the top rope. Could we see a moonsault here? Yeah. Got yeah. him with the uh, upper torso anyway. Yeah, didn't really catch him all the way, though, over on the far side. There he goes. Vince Kaplack thrown over, but his feet did not touch the floor. Meanwhile, over here, Johnny Moss is out. We are down uh, five, five men left. We've got Danny Dominion, Vince Kaplack, Chris Hero, Twiggy, H. Ramirez, and Tony Kazina. One of these men will go on to face Logan Kane for the NWA World Light Heavyweight Championship tonight. Did you say Twiggy and Flamboyant had tagged up before? Uh, or no, know each other? No, they look like, Lord. oh my goodness. You talking about putting it all on the line. He just dove over that top rope. Here we go with a big missile drop kick off the top rope. Man, he was 10 feet in the air. It looks to me like Dominion and Twiggy have worked out some sort of agreement because they haven't done anything to one another the whole entire match. And look, see, look, I was right. I know what I'm talking about. I know everything. I'll Twiggy get. and Dominion are in cahoots, and they're going to take Vince Kaplack, and they're going to take Tony Kazina and eliminate them. But then after that happens, what's, what's going to happen? Well, I say them two face off. You can't have two guys go into the matchup for the lightweight title. There's one man going to win this thing, and I'm telling you right now, when there's money involved, there will be a winner because one of these guys are going to get greedy and turn on one another. Oh, Kaplak off the top, turns around. Nice Beautiful hip, hip toss and a drop kick takes the minion down. Some nice wrestler moves by these two. Kazina choking Piggy Ramirez over the second rope over there on the far side, and now Kaplak up top. Looks like it's 10 punch time. Here we go. No. And we're going for 10 right here at the 51st anniversary of the NWA. Oh, well, he, he got to him. eight. Man, he it, jumped into the concrete floor. Three men left, Danny Dominion, Twiggy Ramirez, and the first man in this thing, Tony Kazina, is still in it. Twiggy in trouble here, and the flamboyant one's going to flex for us. He's posing. Look at, hey, look at that. I've seen that before. Long, long time ago, though. Some old over the hill guy. I don't know. Twiggy in a world of trouble here. It's the flamboyant one's going to scoop him up. Billy the back suplex. See, I told you they're in cahoots again. Twiggy in trouble, and Danny Dominion saves him. Now let's see what happens at the very end when it comes right down to it. 
Somebody's going to win this thing. Look at Twiggy. He's just sitting in the corner relaxing, telling Dominion to, to take him and hurt him while he's getting a breather. Not much of a give-and-take relationship going on there. All right. Big boot to the midsection. That's the flamboyant one. Scoops him up with a big power bomb. And I mean with a thought. And it looked like Twiggy was going to do something off the ropes, but and now he's... See, I told you, they got something going on, but it's all given no take for Danny Dominion because Twiggy's just sort of getting his breath back, making Danny do all the work here. A flamboyant one, an arrogant individual indeed, as he picks up in a double. He got things going his way with a help from the flamboyant one. Referee Fred Richards now in the ring, calling the action the senior official of the National Wrestling Alliance. Oh, there's a big old slap by Dominion. That's more insult than injury. Here we go. Double Irish whip. Off that far rope with a double elbow. And this is almost double teaming it like a tag team. You sure these guys are not in cahoots like a tag team? I, I mean, they're obviously in cahoots. I, they must have just discussed something in the back. Which, to the best of my knowledge, is the first time they've ever been on the same car together. Two on one situation here for the free for all. One man's going to win, and I say one of these guys gets greedy and turns on the other one. That's my pick right and there. And don't count out Kazina, a young scrapper out of Portland, Oregon, wrestling for NWA Pacific Northwest. Ducks, Ducks that close double clothesline and big double drop kick. Takes both men down, but can Kazina get back up to his feet and continue to mount an offensive attack? You know, Al, it's hard enough to put one guy over the top rope, let alone two by yourself. Big Two drop kicks in a row as he's going to work over Twiggy here. His best bet is to somehow turn these two against one another. Or I don't know how he can go about that, but with great force, sends Twiggy into the corner. These guys right here are putting it all on the line here at the anniversary show of the NWA as Twiggy's coming back around, going to jump him from the backside, what they do best. Now he's picking up the minion, helping him back up to his feet so they can continue their two-on-one assault on Tony Kazina. Here comes the flamboyant one off that top. And he goes up and over to the floor. There goes my pick. So we're left with Twiggy and, and Tony Kazina. And here comes, here comes Twiggy's manager. He wasn't even supposed to be here. Madonna Wayne Gacy is here now. But hey, Kazina ducked that double team attempt and ended up sending Dominion over the top rope and out of the match, and it's down to two men. But hey, don't count out Madonna Wayne Gacy, the manager of Quiggy Ramirez at ringside. Here we go. Twiggy's going to go for the ride. He goes off that far rope and a spinning heel kick. Twiggy in trouble here, and he's left all alone with this guy who apparently wants it worse than anybody else that was in the uh, Battle Royal. That's what it really comes down to when it gets this far into the match. It's who wants it more. Twiggy on the verge of elimination right now. He's trying to put him up and over. Twiggy comes back down. He's holding off for dear life here. Here we go. Twiggy going to go for the ride, and it's reversed. Off the far rope, but the manager grabs him, jerks down that rope. He's caught with a clothesline over the top rope to the floor. And, man, his head bounced off that like a bean bag. And that's it. Twiggy wins the match and advances to the title match. Man, with, he might have been knocked out, I'll get. Yeah, with a, a little bit of an assist from Madonna Wayne Gacy as he ducked that rope down. It actually didn't eliminate Kazina, but... It distracted him long enough for Twiggy to get the win. And now we await the NWA World Tour.